welcome to my channel so for today we are going to be making a simple video on how to cut pencil skirts with a slit if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so for today i'm putting on this um simple agbaja top for ladies okay i think it's unisex men to also wear it if you want us to make a video on how to cut simple agbada and also the full native agbada what do they call agbada um and um, those men wear what do they call it in your tribe or your country just put it down below at the comment section so if you want us to make a full video on how to cut your full agbada comment down below so once i get enough comments asking us to make a video on full agbada for men i'm going to go ahead and put up that video so you can join us on facebook sewing is fun by 3 designs and on instagram 10 god designs so what are the basic measurements required we have our waist measurements hip measurements and our skirt length so basically if you want to make a short gown with a slit, you want yours to be a long gown with a slit, you want yours to be a long skirt, a tulip skirt with a slit, the same method applies, okay? It just depends on what you use for your length. What you use for your length is just what is going to vary. So either you want to make yours a gown or a skirt, the same method applies to it. So we are going to go ahead and calculate our basic measurements. So our waist measurement is 30 we have 30 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10 inches our hip measurements plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 10.25 now why do we have plus 2 for our waist and plus 1 for our hip basically it is because in our waist measurements we have the dart allowance so the extra one inch we have is for our dart allowance at the waist region so my skirt length is 27 inches i just want mine to be a little bit below the knee i really don't want it to get um i really don't want it to get to the floor like actually so a little bit below the knee is cool whichever or wherever you want your length get up to the same method applies to it so i'm going to add two inches i have 29 inches so basically these are the basic measurements required don't forget to join us on training but now one thing about this pattern paper is the length is actually very very long you guys look at where it gets up to it's up to my up to my shoulder measurement so you have enough you have enough length when you want to make long dresses you want to make a mermaid dress you actually have a long enough length to work with and it is so so much i've actually used out of this like so many times and one thing i love about this pattern paper is it has like a smooth side like a shining part and it has the dull side i don't know if you guys can see it, but these pattern papers are available at our store in case you want to get yours and i think every designer should have this pattern paper trust me it is so smooth and it is actually long enough for any dress you want to make so pattern papers are available at our store if you want to order yours we deliver across the world i'm going to put down the details down below so i've gone ahead to cut out my length measurements from the bundle of my pattern paper and i'm going to show you guys how to achieve this pencil skirt so let's go ahead and mark our measurements so this is our waistline so from our waistline to our upper hip we have six inches waistline to lower hip we have eight inches our waist to our knee length we have 17 inches and of course for my skirt length i have about 27 inches so i'm going to go ahead and mark these lines again six inches eight inches and 17 inches so i'm going to make it of my pattern master I'm going to make it of my pattern master to connect these lines together so one thing i love about this my pattern master is the fact that my pattern master is actually flexible you guys look at it so it doesn't break at all it is actually so flexible that it doesn't break so you can order for your pattern master i'm going to put down the details down below so we have this 
now we are going to go ahead and mark our measurement so we are going to go ahead and mark our measurement so we mark our that measurement first which is four inches i'm going to mark four inches four inches all the way down to our skirt length you mark your four inches at your waistline make use of your pattern master to connect the lines together connect the lines together so at our waist measurement don't forget that we added two inches for our waist measurement and i said it was because of the dart allowance right so we are going to mark half inch on the right hand side half inch on the left hand side and take out our dart so we've taken out our dart already this is what we have so go ahead and mark your basic measurement so our waist measurement is 10 inches we are going to mark 10 inches this way and our waist me hip measurement is 10.25 i mark my waist hip measurement which is 10.25 now coming to the knee level the knee level you are going to deduct from your waistline and how many inches you deduct here determines how pencil is going to be so if you deduct one inch it means you want it to be pencil you can deduct one and a half inches two inches it depends on how pencil you want it to be so for me i'm going to deduct 1.25 i have 10.25 here i'm going to deduct 1.25 i have nine inches so this is what i have and for my skirt length down to the skirt length i will mark my nine inches so i haven't done that i'm going to go ahead with my pattern master again connect my waistline to my hip line making use of this curved part because our hip to our waist measurement is not actually straight and so from the hip measurement to my knee length i'm going to make use of this straight part and i'll connect it all the way to my skirt length so basically you can see the shape of our pencil skirt coming up already so this is for the front block so one thing i want you to take note of again while i'm cutting out this is you are going to determine where you want your sleeve to fall to okay most times it falls at the left hand side but you know you can make yours at the right hand side it actually depends on what you want to achieve so this is the front block now we just took away our dart measurement just like your basic skirt i'm going to set this aside and we, we are going to draft our back block so for my back block now i'm going to mark my zip length which is about one inch i'm going to mark one inch for my zip allowance all the way down and we are still going to take the normal measurement six inches eight inches 17 inches so i'll go ahead and connect all these lines together for our back block so making use of my pattern master again i'm going to connect these lines all the way down so for the back block now we are going to mark our dart allowance which is four inches and we mark four inches at our waistline and half inches on both sides now for the back um block there is actually no need for you to extend your dart line all the way to the length okay because your slit is not going to fall at the back your slit is always at the front so we go ahead and mark our basic measurement our waist measurement is 10 inches our hip measurement is start from your zip length okay our hip measurement is 10.25 for your knee measurements we deducted 1.25 and i mark my nine inches all the way down so after that i'm going to go ahead with my pattern master and connect my waist my hip line together and connect it all the way connect it all the way down now one thing i love to do at my zip allowance is i try to make sure i deduct out of it at the lower side making it up half inches up to my lower hip okay so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out so this is what you have this is our back and this is our front so i'm going to go ahead and label it 
so now we are going to set this back aside because basically we want to achieve the slit at the front so what you have to do now for you to achieve your your slit why you want to cut your fabric so we are going to cut out we are going to cut out this that this is the easiest method so go ahead and cut out this your dart line to give you your slit okay because your slit should always fall at your dart line so join us on join us for training so this is our center fold and this is our side always label your pattern okay so now let's transfer this pattern to the fabric so uh, this is my african print beautiful we have beautiful african print as our store so you guys you can place your order so what we have to do now is to fold our fabric into two let me take away this so you guys can see it clearly so fold your fabric into two just very little so fold it so this is our pattern now the pattern for the front don't forget this is our center fold so you take this center fold and place your center fold on this center line this is what we are just achieving this is our center fold okay so place your center fold on this center line and you can discover that we opened up this part of our front panel so when you place it you can go ahead and pin it up make sure you leave allowance okay so you determine how many allowance you want to leave you can leave about one inch all the way down so we are going to go ahead now i'm not cutting it exactly at this point i'm going to leave about one inch this way and i'll cut it out so this is what you have so you take the other piece this is the side you determine this is where this is our complete piece this way right so this is where you have your allowance so you fold your fabric again so after folding your fabric into two make sure you adjust it so you don't end up wasting enough fabric so this is where we have our allowance so while you place your pattern on your fabric this way so you make sure you also leave inches at this point half inch attached to the other one and to give you your slit so i'm going to go ahead in this case now i'm going to cut it equally at this part because this is my side measurement so go ahead and cut this out this way and so for this front part where we have our slit i'm going to go ahead and leave about half inch to serve as my sewing allowance so after cutting it out this is what you have this is your side you have one piece two piece and the third piece is coming this way so this is the front block basically so you are going to determine you know i said your slit can fall by your left hand side or your right hand side so you are going to determine that um when we when we move to the sewing room to sew i'm going to show you guys how to achieve the slit so this is what we have after cutting so set this aside and cut out your back block so for your back block what you just have to do is to fold your fabric into two and place your back block on it make sure you pin it down or you make sure you hold it firm so i'm going to go ahead and cut this out and show you guys what it looks like so while we are cutting this don't forget to join us on for training we have training both online training and on-site training so you can join us for training join us at our fashion school i'm going to put down the details down below at the description bar so we go ahead and open up this part because for our back block we are going to have two piece for our back block because of our zip allowance so that is why we are opening up um that's why we are opening up this part for our back block so we cut this out and i'll see you guys at the sewing room basically so after cutting this out you also do the same for your interface okay for your lining so you cut out the same for your lining and so for our back block we have two pieces and for the front block we have three pieces so now guys the first thing you have to do is to turn every piece with lining 
and you make sure you turn the inside this way for neat finishing so if you don't know how to turn up your dress with lining this way you can comment down below if you want me to make a video on how to turn it up this way so you go ahead and turn up the front lining don't forget that you determine where you want your slits to be either on the left hand side or, or the right hand side but most times it is always at the left hand side so after turning up the front piece we are going to go ahead and turn up the back piece with our lining and so for the back piece we have um two pieces for the back piece and we're gonna head to turn it up this way so the next thing we have to do now for the back um, piece is to fix in our zip and close it all the way down so for a pencil sketch with a slit for the back block after fixing your zip you are going to close it all the way down because you have a slit in front i don't want to have another slit at the back so i'll go ahead and fix my zip and close it down and show you guys what it looks like so after fixing in your zipper this is what you have at the end of your skirt so the next thing we have to do now the next thing you have to do now is to take your front piece so we are going to sew all the way down so the next thing you have to do is to determine how many inches you want your slit to be okay so you determine how many inches either seven inches or 20 inches 21 inches it depends on what you want and the length of the dress so we are going to go ahead now and sew it up to where we want our slit to be and show you guys what next you have to do so after sewing this is what we have you've left um the number of inches you want for your slit let me show you guys how to close it up so while you are sewing it straight you just close it this way for you to have that closed part so the next thing we have to do now is to place your back block on your front block right side facing right side go ahead and mark your bust measurement your waist measurement rather your hip measurement and sew it all the way down so i'll do the same for the second side and show you guys what our final skirt looks like so guys this is what we have you can see your slits at the left hand side let me show you guys carefully so you can see your slit so this is where our slit ended and this is what you have for your beautiful pencil skirt with a slit and this can come in form of a gown or a tulip skirt that is a long skirt so thanks for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next video bye